Hey guys, Big Daddy Liberty coming to you from just outside Macro here in Santon. And um, what am I doing here, you're wondering? Well, I'm putting together the usual monthly um, course bucky or food hamper that I usually do. I had a family reach out to me on social media and basically say, hey BDL, we're a family of 10, we need some help. This lockdown has crippled our ability to even feed ourselves. Um, and as you guys know, I, I, once a month, I usually put together a big food hamper for a big family in need to assist. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And today's video is basically showing you what can you put together in a food hamper, no matter how small or how big it is. What are some of the essentials that go into a food hamper? Because as I always say to you guys, if you can help the next man, if you can help your fellow South African, do it. Um, and it doesn't take a lot, you know. I have a tradition of either once a week, um, a small food hamper, or once a month, one big one. So I'm choosing to use July to do one big one for a family of 10 that reached out. And as always, and as I always mention on the show, as this plane goes by, <laughs> um, as I always mention on the show, I don't show families and I don't show the families who I donate to. Uh, I, I, I have a personal problem with that, but I'll definitely show you the process of how we get uh, that food, uh, or rather the course paki uh, put together. So you're on the BDL show, this is a short vlog. Let's quickly do this. All right, so I'm at Macro, I'm walking around and you always begin with stuff that you don't think about quite often so i i, I often like to go to the toilet paper first um i know it seems weird to start there but it's such an item that we take for granted um especially when you don't think about not having it so i often remind myself to get some toilet paper then a little bit of pasta we always take that for granted because it's such a luxury but always add some macaroni um this is uh speckled beans some beans, cooking oil, never forget the cooking oil, um, some sunflower oil, uh, baked beans uh, for this family because it's a family of 10, I took two trays and of course some curry powder for cooking, can't forget that and some pilchards, canned pilchards, very nice and tomato sauce, uh, took two and of course some stock, beef and chicken stock is what I think what I took here. And of course, some soups, some sachets of soup. I like hearty beef. Uh, I think I took a veg one or a chicken one, sorry. And of course, cream of mushroom, um, which is what I added, I think, to the basket. I always take my time here because <laughs> the variety is, is, yeah. Anyway, so I've got those in the basket. Again, something you can put together in a share bowl um, to go with the starches. Some sugar, of course, can't forget some sugar. Uh, and of course, a staple, uh, maize meal. Shout out to our farmers, man, who put these together. Our maize farmers, love you guys. Uh, some samp, which will go with the beans, yum yum. Samp and beans, big staple, something I grew up on. Um, took two bags of 10 kgs. And of course, two bags of 10 kg rice. Remember, this is a very big family that I'm shopping for. It's about 10 people, three adults and seven kids. So I want the food to last a bit, maybe two or three months. Uh, some salt, can't forget the salt. And of course, for those Samis, for the kids when they go to school, um, I took some peanut butter and some apricot jam. Very nice. Uh, mayonnaise, also for the Samis and, um, you know, uh, it's mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, soya mince, again, something that you can create a share bowl with. Um, I had to take two of these multiple pack sachets and eggs. Now, initially I went with these trays. I think there's 60 in them, if, I'm, if memory serves me right. So I took two of those. And yeah, again, bref breakfast of champions, man. You always begin your day with eggs. Um, can never go wrong with that. But then I changed my mind because I saw the box right next to these. <laughs> Much bigger box, which I think has 120 in there, or maybe even a bit more. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But again, for the family of 10, uh, you can never overdo it, really. Uh, so I took a much bigger bigger box of those to put onto the trolley. All right, eggs. All right, can't forget the milk. I know there's an ukoko who stays there. Got to have some milk to go with the tea. 
and of course protein 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 i took a nice big bag uh of chicken and chicken portions mixed portions i think there's six bags in there or five kgs i'm not sure um i don't remember but it's one of the biggest packs you'll find and don't forget the veg of course some butternut for those cold nights some butternut soup took a nice big bag of onions can't forget the onions that's how you begin the base of most curries and stews and of course a little bit of greenery and cabbage guys i love cabbage personally so i took two big uh is it heads of cabbage took two of those um i'm always skeptical of buying veg fresh veg because you don't know how long it'll last anyway uh you last saw that image of a tub of uh fat spread or the samis and yeah this is me running it up at the bill uh excuse me at the till um this all came to about just and uh actually it doesn't matter um it 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 was enough for the family and shout out to these guys man at macro who help you unload stuff as you can see i just come from the cars taking the tip out guys always tip these guys especially if they're really helpful and with this amount of food they were incredibly incredibly helpful shout out to macro man you guys are a rock so we're on our way now to uh winterfelt which is literally slap bang near soshanguve and mabopane uh, that stadium you saw, you'll remember from the episode I did with the EFF at the election rally. That's where they had it. It was in Soshanguve. Um, some of the houses that you pass by. There is a bit of progress, which I like, um, but there's still just a lack of stuff. I mean, look at how there's there's no roads uh, over here. All right, so this is me getting to the house and just backing up. Guys, if you have any ideas of what else should go into a course packy, please drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, yeah, let's improve. Let's continuously improve as we help faith, flag, family, and freedom. This is the family I'm going to uh, do the donation for. It's a, t it's a family of 10. Uh, it's quite a big family, and they live in a single RDP shack, uh, or RDP house, excuse me. And, you know, this lady reached out to, to me on the channel and basically said, look, we are at the point of starvation. Um, can you just assist us with a little bit of food? Um, so we're going to do a lot, a lot more than just a little bit. Um, and we're going to hand over some food. And what I really wanted to achieve is to make sure that this family who have disabled kids um, actually have some food for the next three months or so. So, guys, this is what it's all about. This is my passion. When I talk about faith, flag, family and freedom, it's basically talking about you, the individual. Do something to help your next man. Do something to help those who need it. So we're going to do that. As I said to you guys before, I'm not going to show the family um, uh, as we hand over. That's, that's for us um, and them and God uh, to, to, <laughs> to, to, to oversee. Um, but I am going to look square at you and just please, 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 guys, do what you can to support and help your fellow man. We're South Africans, we're in this together. And I've always said this to you guys before, we are a family society. And when you talk about disabled people, when you talk about families, you know that's my soft spot. So do what you can, guys. Um, and remember, if you want to support the work that I do, which includes stuff like this, um, you can do that by becoming a Patreon subscriber. You know, for as little as a dollar a month, you can support the work that I do. Uh, not only the advocacy, you know, going around into uh, informal settlements into townships. Uh, not only that, in terms of doing the liberty work of building, you know, of, of teaching people how we can build a property earning free and prosperous society. That's the one component of it. But also some of the more charitable stuff that I, I, I really have close to my heart, especially when we talk about uh, families, poorer families of that. So if you want to support that work, um, both the advocacy and this, um, it's a simple, just a simple dollar a month uh, gets the work done. And you can sign up on Patreon. I'll put the link in the descriptor. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Remember, some awesome, awesome content coming your way. Um, especially as I now begin my, the ground war of getting the message out. Um, as of July, I'm hitting the streets of South Africa. And, you know, and I, as I said, when we had a chat, whether it's an informal settlement, a township, or even leafy suburbs, we're going to build a liberty-leaning, free, prosperous and property owning society. The ideas that achieve that is what I'm going to be prosecuting the battle of ideas for in the communities across the country. So look out for that. Send me an email if you want me to be in your part of the world at bdl at bigdaddylibertyshow.com and I'll be in your part of the world. So guys, I had to just quickly shout you out, remind you that, you know, a giving heart is an open heart and, um, 
as I always say, especially because I don't see any of them around here, never trust a commie. <laughs>